Hey guys, today I'll give you the comic book origins of the Black Canary. The Black Canary has become one of DC's most common names that you hear, as she is also one of their best fighters, one of the most attractive women, and by far one of their most popular characters. She's mostly been seen having a relationship with the Emerald Archer, Green Arrow and has made her appearance on TV several times in the Justice League Unlimited cartoon series and in Arrow when she was portrayed by Katie Lotz who portrayed the Canary and then Katie Cassidy who portrayed Black Canary. <clears throat> but those were the first two. But basically her origins start off with <clears throat> with uh, Di her real name being Diana Drake, who is the Black Canary on Arrow right now, after the death of, La of Laurel Lance. But, it turns out that uh, her origins basically start with um, uh, her being a street orphan and becoming... So, she started out life as a street orphan and was brought under the tutelage of a martial arts master that she met. By the time she was an adult, she was already a formidable opponent and also came into contact with, with a feud between both the police force and, and a deadly martial artist and a deadly martial arts organisation. Impressed with her fighting abilities, uh, she became a routine member of this organisation, and as a member, she met her future lover, who would eventually become married with. Later on in life, she also developed her own superpower, being the Canary Cry. Meaning she's able to, well, scream really loud. That's pretty much what it is, but, uh... Her origin is pretty hard to follow, uh, if you go f further into the years of her first... of her first appearance. As, in that way, she was actually a member of the Justice Society of America on Earth 2, but when her husband died, she moved to Earth 1 to start a new life. And also, when Diana Drake and her husband had a child, which would be Diana Laurel Lance, she had... she would normally have her fellow Justice Society of America associates come over to visit them. As she got, as Laurel got older, she wanted to become like her mother, but she refused. Eventually, she got her way and became the new Black Canary, as she was trained in in multiple forms of fighting abilities. So, thanks to Diana's old friend Wildcat. That's it for Black Canary, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and comment what you think down below. And I'll come back tomorrow to probably give a top 10 list. See you guys.